100 miles an hour, several cities later, a man who stole a Lorraine police cruiser is under arrest, and it's all caught here on dash cam video. Good evening, Russ is off tonight. Ray Strickland's giving us another look at that incredible video. Hi, Ray. Hey, how you doing, Sarah? Now, this video is a video that's really hard to believe until you see it with your own eyes. This chase went for miles at dangerous speeds, and it's a miracle. No one was injured. It's something you would probably think is from an episode of Cops. Are you still in the car? But for these cops, this is no show and car. no joke. Cell phone video captures the moment a man steals a Lorraine police cruiser before he sends them and others on a frantic high speed chase. He was uncuffed and then started fighting with the officers. It's a pretty good fight if you got a three on one and he's still able to get away. Lorraine police first met Brandon Petrie when they went to his house to do a welfare check on him. He has behavioral issues, but police later learned he also had outstanding warrants in Lorraine and Cuyahoga counties. Lorraine police arrested him and set up a meet to hand him over to the county sheriff. Petrie had other plans, assaulting two officers before doing the unthinkable. The fact that he didn't hit somebody is amazing. Dangerously weaving through traffic, narrowly missing car after car. Dashcam video takes you on that 30 minute joyride of Petri's brazen attempt to elude police in that stolen police cruiser. The multi agency chase started in Lorraine County, spilling over into another one. Police used stop strips near State Route 2 in Haran to finally bring Petri to a screeching halt. The officers injured, uh, uh, the officers Petri injured, excuse me, are recovering in the hospital tonight and, uh, and out of the hospital tonight, excuse me. Now, as for Petri, L Lorraine police say they didn't go to the home to arrest him. He wasn't in trouble with them, but now he's facing some very serious charges. Sarah. And you can see why. Ray Strickland, thank you very much.